Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Houties. In this video, I will show you how to upload UG items in Roblox. So before we actually start uploading our items onto our account or into Marketplace, I have to tell you or explain to you a few details uh, you should know before you start uploading your items. So by default, there are uh, item specifications that you should know. So the max mesh for items is around 1,200 vertices or around 4,000 triangles. So if you're familiar with 3D modeling, vertices are points on your 3D models and triangles are the faces of your creations. So also the max texture is around 256 by 256 pixels in PNG format. And also the max size, uh, you should see it in the uh, charts that they already have on their websites as a uh, reference. So it's actually pretty easy to upload your items on uh, the UGC uh, platform for Roblox. So I'll be showing you a few articles first before I show you the actual way of actually uploading them. So first is when you're actually, uh, for you to actually upload your items, you first have to register as a UGC uh, creator. So here I have this link here. You can just basically search on google.com Roblox UGC and you'll see this article here. So here, you first want to read all of the details that you have here and basically just start applying for the UGC application here. So you just click on the link here and you'll be led to a new section here. So just need to enter your birthday and you'll be able to enter a few details about yourself. So if you have a 3D asset, a documentary 3D asset that you could share with them, you'll be able to start your application. So basically you just need to start applying this for this one so that the other features on Roblox will be available to you because the actual selling feature for roblox will not be available to you if you are not a ugc creator so once you're applied uh, usually takes around a few weeks for that to uh, work or for them to reply to you just need to wait for them but once you have that ugc approval from them you'll be able to access these features that i'll be uh showing you i'll be telling you later on so Going next is we want to know the fees on actually uploading your items. So unfortunately, there are fees to consider when you actually upload an item. So when you're actually uploading an item that's a 3D model, it's around 750 Robux. So as you can see here, if you're participating in UZ program, you can upload and sell 3D clothes and accessories. It costs around 750 Robux to upload these assets. And yeah, so basically it costs you to upload your accessories here. So you just need you need to remember that you should have the appropriate funds for this one. Uh, go ahead and load uh, Robux into your account the usual way and it will be automatically deducted once you upload your items. Also, if you're, it's just, if it's just a classic clothing that you have on your account, it's actually around 100 Robux if I'm not mistaken. So here, as you can see, I'll show you the dimensions here. So this is the classic one. So this is the uh, format for you for the classic. So as you can see, this is just a mapping and textures for your um, clothing here. So let's just scroll down a bit until we'll see the uploading section here. So here for you to upload your uh, creations or for classic clothing, you could actually go to your create page and from there just need to follow the steps here. But it actually changed a bit right now, so I'll be showing you the updated way. So let's go to our creator page here. And once here, you'll be able to see the creation section here. So when we go to our avatar items here, you'll be able to see all the classic t-shirts, classic pants, and classic shirts section here. Just need to upload your items here and basically wait for the approval process. So this is the way for us to upload our classic clothing. So it also costs around 100 Robux to upload or to, or to publish your items into marketplace wherein other users could actually buy that item. So if you're part of the UGC program, then you will have the option to sell it on marketplace if the asset is actually approved by Roblox. So you have to go through the approval process for first before you could actually start selling. So you just need to upload your assets here and wait for the approval process and the sell button or the sell option will be available to you on this page here. 
But for example, you have a 3D asset that you want to sell. So it's kind of different with the classic way. So the 3D item or the 3D version for selling items is you'll have to use the Roblox Studio. So right now, I'm already on my Roblox Studio. I already created my workspace here. So I'll be showing you how you could actually upload that into your account. Oh, so by the way, when you actually have a creator page here, so the creator page is actually really helpful because this is where you actually manage your items, where you could actually start selling them. In Roblox Studio, this is just the uh, kind of the uh, midway or the third the middleman for you to actually start creating and uploading your items but the main important thing here is the creator page that you see here so make sure that you have your account so if you already have a roblox account you'll also automatically have a create uh creator account here so just go to create.roblox.com and you'll be able to see this ui here just go to your dashboard and you'll be able to see this so you're, yeah, going back, let's go to our Roblox Studio. And from here, we want to actually start uploading an item to our account. So how do we do that? So go, you just want to look for an asset that you want to basically sell. So for example, we want to look for a hat. So this just, is just, just an example. So here, for example, we have this cowboy hat here that we want to add. So we're just gonna uh, press this one. And basically just move it around here so for us to actually uh, start um, selling this or upload this into your account first thing that you want to do is you want to select the item at the Explorer section here from here you'll see that it's already selected so we'll just click all right click on it save to Roblox so you have to look for the save to Roblox option here then from here, it's going to show you the item itself and the thumbnail. So uh, the thumbnail section here is actually, uh, if you want to update your thumbnail here, it's a different tutorial if you want to know, but they also have this on the website itself. So they have tutorials on how you, how you can actually change your uh, thumbnail, but it's actually a very specific setting. You should be part of the UGC creator program first before you can actually access that. But yeah, I'll be showing you this, uh, the the articles itself so that you be able to reference them later on. So yeah, so here you can see this is the asset configuration. So you have to add your title, description, and the creator. You sh usually set this to me since you're the creator. Also, the all you could also add your genre here. And here you could also dis distribute in marketplace, but you sh your account should be verified first before you could actually start uh, distributing your mar marketplace. And here, if you want to allow comments, you could go ahead and do that. And yeah, also what I was telling you before is if you are part of the UGC program for Roblox, the UI for this one is going to be different. So first, you'll be led into the uploading process for this one. You'll upload this first and they will verify if it's actually appropriate. So. The verification process is really important because Roblox wants to really filter out any unnecessary or insensitive um, models. Like for example, operate models, they want to filter those out. So there's a verification process for the one. So right now, uh, we just want to submit this one. But if you're part of the UGC program, you will see that the button here we changed. It's going to say upload for 750 Roblox. So from there, uh, you could go ahead and press that but for now i'm just gonna click on submit so here as you can see i've successfully submitted this one and when we actually go to this link here we'll be able to see our asset so but we just need to close this for this uh, not for now and from here underneath our toolbox you'll see the creations section here when we click on that you'll be able to see all of the creations that you have so right now just right click on it from here, you want to view in browser, and that would actually open up a new browser on your browser here, or a new tab on your browser. So right now, it's not yet available, it's still loading, so let's wait for it just to load up properly. So that what I was talking about a while ago is the publishing to marketplace option here. So you, ca you could actually find this on the documentation side for Roblox. So just go to overview, 
and from here you could actually just click on search docs and you could just search for the title that i just shown you which is publishing to marketplace so from here it's going to give you step by steps on your how you could actually publish your items on marketplace this is where i found the steps on how to do it so you just need to follow the steps here on this specific um article on roblox itself so there's a lot of information here that you could find and yeah you can just basically just read through it and you'll be okay also if you're having problems on uploading your item itself you could actually just contact their support for roblox so here you could actually just fill out the support form on roblox so just go to help.roblox.com and from here you just want to scroll down a bit until you see the contact us option and when you go to contact us, it's going to show you this one. So go to the support form option here. And from here, you just need to enter the details that you need to enter for this one. So for example, your first name, email address, and, your conf and the confirmation for email address. And here, you could choose the what, ha what problem you're having on. So let's just choose PC since we're developing. And here, we want to choose the section that says technical support. And for this one, we want to choose specific ex uh, experience issues. And from here, you just need to describe your issues or problem. And from there, just click on submit and you just need to wait for Roblox reply on inquiries on how you could actually upload your items on your account. So yeah, there there might be a sudden delay of for you actually viewing your item on the creator page for on the Roblox website here that's underneath the create.roblox.com. There might be delays on actually loading your items, but yeah, you just need to right click on it and just click on view browser or you could basically just copy the asset ID from here. But when you actually view on browser, you will be able to see it in your browser here. It is a previous item that I uploaded into the creator page here. But yeah, once if uh, once you've uploaded your items, you have the option to sell this on Marketplace once it got once it got its approval from Roblox. But right now, if you don't have the or is not currently part of the UGC program for Roblox, you'll no, you'll not have the option to sell your items on the Marketplace. But yeah, this is how you upload your item on CreateRoblox.com, and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you can use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.